Hello friends. Today we will tell you how to add real-time stock market data to your website. Let's learn about its importance first. Real-time stock market data is like a live heartbeat of the financial world. Imagine you're playing a game and need to know the score as it happens. That's what real-time data does for investors. It's like having a window into the fast-moving world of buying and selling stocks. When you buy or sell stocks, you want to know the exact price at the moment. It's like deciding on a game based on the current score, not yesterday's. Investors must make quick choices because stock prices can change in a blink. Why should we add real-time stock market data to our website? Changes in stock. Real-time stock market data lets us watch how the prices of the stocks change during the day. This helps us understand how money moves in the stock market. Understanding money. Watching the stock market helps us better understand money and how to make good choices. We can learn about investing, which means using our money to make more money. Making informed decisions. Looking at the data and guessing what might happen helps us practice thinking and making decisions. These are skills that we use in lots of parts of our lives. Market Stack Market Stack helps you get information about the stock market. This tool gives you data about how stocks are doing now, during the day, and in the past. It's like a magic window that shows you all this information. Let's see what it gives us. Market Stack comes with real time market data, intraday market data, 30 plus years historical data. 170,000 plus stock tickers, 750 plus market indices. So, how to integrate Market Stack into your website? Let's check it. We have created a simple website using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to give you an idea of Market Stack integration. Here is our simple website that we have created to give you an idea of Market Stack integration. We have implemented some good CSS styles that you can replace with your own styling. Let's explain the structure of our website. First, we created our HTML code to set the basic structure of our project. Next, there are CSS styles that we created to give a good appearance to our project. Then, finally, there is JavaScript structure that has a few functions to help us fetch the data and display it on the screen. We gave it the title of Market Data. Then, it creates a form that allows users to select from multiple endpoints available at Market Stack. It will show you a drop-down option with multiple options as you can see on the screen. Here is Market Stack. Let's move to the documentation and check different endpoints. In the left column, you can see these endpoints of Market Stack. We have implemented all of them to our code. Let's get back to our code. Here is our API key that you should remove with the actual API key by Market Stack. Next, there is a base URL that works with all endpoints at Market Stack. Next, there is a function that helps us fetch the stock market data by using a particular endpoint and its parameters. These are the endpoints that we have implemented into our project as you can see on the screen. Next, we will fetch our data using this fetch.then.then.catch function. But that's not the end of our story because we need to display our data. Here is the function that helps us display the data. Finally, there is a function to handle errors of the code. For example, if the API fails to fetch data, it will show something like, error fetching data, please try again later. So this is the whole structure of our website. Let's run the code. Here is our output that you can see on the screen. We have to select an endpoint from this drop-down menu. Let's select end of day data and click on fetch data. It will quickly display the data as you see on the screen. Looks pretty good. Let's fetch another endpoint, splits data, 
And here is our output that you can see on the screen. Let's fetch time zones endpoint and fetch the data. And here you can see the output of the screen. So this is how our web app works with market stack. Let's explore the structure of our website again. You must ensure that you are entering the correct parameters for the endpoints that you are using. Let's check how you can register for an account at MarketStack to get an API key. First, you must click on Sign Up for free and then select a suitable plan. Then, enter necessary details and move to the dashboard. Here, you will get your access key. So, what are you waiting for? Sign up for free at MarketStack today.